Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and welcome to DC Fans United. So I've got a little bit of DC news for you. It looks like there is a Blue Beetle movie in the works. So yet another live action movie is on the way from DC. I really have no idea what DC is doing as far as the DCEU and how this all connects to the previous movies that have been released. I know for sure Aquaman, Shazam, and Wonder Woman 84 are going to be coming out, but there's also a whole roster of other movies. But we'll get into that in a moment. First of all, though, uh, let's see. It says Warner Brothers and DC have a ton of interest in Blue Beetle, and they've announced plans for a film about him. They confirmed that a Blue Beetle movie is in the works, and that they have Scarface remake writer... Gareth Dunnett Ulcer to write the script. So I actually didn't know there was this a Scarface remake. I, I was actually thinking not too long ago that they ought to make a remake of Scarface. So that's surprising. It just really makes me wonder why DC is trying to do so many of these different movies all at the same time. You know, there's the Joaquin Phoenix Joker that's in the works. They have the Birds of Prey movie. So it just seems like a lot is going on at the same time, and I'm not sure how well connected it all is. You know, it's really strange, because it wasn't that long ago they were talking about a Flash movie and a Cyborg movie and all these other things that were supposed to take place around 2020. So I really have no idea in some ways what DC is planning. But it does say here that there's a number of different versions versions of Blue Beetle, of course, including the original hero Dan Garrett, but there's the second iteration Ted Cord, but this film is going to feature Tommy Rees' version. So Keith Giffen, John Rogers, and Cully Hammer created the third iteration for Blue Beetle in the mid-2000s, and it looks like that's the one they are going to be basing this off of. So it goes on to say Blue Beetle joins a slew of in-the-works projects housed at Warner Brothers and DC Films, though one could easily assume the film would get lost in a swirling sea of cinematic ventures. And yeah, um, that's really something I agree with. There's just so much going on, and it's not really being talked about too well or promoted too well. It's just like they're developing so much stuff, and a lot of it I'm not really thinking looks too great. Like Shazam, that looks really good, and Aquaman look really good. I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman 84 is going to be good. But all this stuff coming after that, I just don't know. You know, I, I kind of wish they would just focus on getting these things done, like, one at a time. That seems to be what Marvel does. I mean, they might have a couple movies in development at a time, but they don't have a huge roster of really obscure characters that they're all trying to develop independently of each other. It's a really strange way of doing it, I think. And of all characters, Blue Beetle, like, why wouldn't she just do a Teen Titans movie or something? I don't know. It's really odd concept to me. I don't know exactly what Warner Brothers is thinking with that. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my live stream tonight at 8 p.m. End of line.